So a few weeks ago, I asked fans of Indie Christian Review on Facebook to tell me what their top five favorite Christian movies were. They gave me 57 movie titles, and I compiled them into a top five list based on the number of repeat responses. So without any further ado, here are your top five favorite Christian movies. Number five is a tie between Mercy Streets and The Secrets of Jonathan Sperry. So I guess this would be a good time to mention that there are actually a couple movies on this list that I haven't seen yet. Mercy Streets is one of them. I've heard of it before, but really hadn't looked into it. I watched the trailer while I was writing this episode, and it definitely looks intriguing. It's got some familiar faces, Eric Roberts, Kevin Downs, and David A.R. White. And David A.R. White. Looks like an interesting, gritty story. I'll definitely be looking into this one in the future. Tied for the number five spot is The Secrets of Jonathan Sperry. Now, I've done a brief review of this one on my own top five favorite list, and I do plan on doing a full review someday, so I won't go into too much detail here. If you haven't heard of this movie, it was made by Rich Cristiano and features Gavin McLeod. It's about a trio of boys in the 1970s who start being mentored by Jonathan Sperry, who teaches them about living for Christ in practical ways. It's a very heartwarming story with a strong message of respecting the elderly, and for the elderly, of the joys of making yourself available to teach the younger generations. It's a great movie, highly recommend it, and I'm definitely glad it's on this list. Number four, Facing the Giants, The Penny, and Faith Like Potatoes. Yep, a three-way tie. So to save on time, I'm going to go ahead and skip Facing the Giants for now since I'm planning on doing a review of that later this year. So we'll look at the other two. First off, The Penny. I reviewed this a couple years ago when I first started the show. It's a multi-storyline movie about several seemingly unconnected people whose lives are all brought together in a very unexpected way. It's an awesome movie. A thriller, it's very suspenseful, and it's all around an awesome movie. It's definitely a favorite of mine, and I'm glad it's a favorite of yours. Next is Faith Like Potatoes. This one's based on the true story of Zambian farmer Angus Buchan. Angus is a farmer who flees political problems in his country to South Africa to start a new life with his family. The story then follows the miraculous changes that happen in his life. This one's a very powerful story. It made me cry, and it's very well made, and is definitely in my own top 10 favorites list. Number 3, The Passion of the Christ. Brace yourself, folks, I'm about to risk a blow to my reputation as a Christian filmmaker. I have not seen The Passion of the Christ, nor do I ever intend to. Put down the pitchforks and torches, my reasons are very simple. Honestly, I get physically sick if I see graphic violence or gore. The violence in Lord of the Rings is about as much as I can handle. So, yeah, no Passion of the Christ for me. Besides, I know how the story goes anyway. Number two, Fireproof. This one's actually my favorite of the Sherwood movies, and I personally thought I had a better told story than the others. Again, I'm planning on doing a detailed review of all the Sherwood movies later this year, so I won't go into detail and risk repeating myself. But I'm definitely not surprised this one scored high on the list. Which brings us to the top voted favorite Christian movie by fans of Indie Christian Review on Facebook. Number one, Courageous. I figured it'd be either Fireproof or Courageous in the number one spot, and you guys didn't disappoint. Production value-wise, this is definitely the best made of the Sherwood movies, and according to Box Office Mojo, it's also the top grossing of the four, having grossed over $34 million during its theatrical run. It just barely beat out Fireproof, which grossed just over $33 million. But what's a million dollars, give or take? It's heartwarming, it's a tearjerker, and it has one of the most hilarious movie moments I've ever seen. Fantastic movies that are all well worth watching. Thank you to everyone that responded. And if you want a chance to help me make more videos like this in the future, like us at facebook.com slash indie Christian review. Until next time, may God bless you and may God bless independent Christian films. Mm -hmm.